to hear something that's a bit real and it's something you can go out and kind of party to like these are dark times it's it's dark times and people need something to give them positive energy you know that i mean that, absolutely and that's what we're all about and what hell yeah is is, is uh, like we're a traveling weekend you know no matter what night it is we want people to be able to be self-indulgent cowboys from hell was 20 years ago the cowboy way hell yeah is this week what does it mean to you? Because obviously there's a thing, you know. Like. A lot of fence mending out in the north pasture, and uh, you got to rope a lot of little dogies. And it's, it's good to have a little southern vibe, and it's not really anything that's very prevalent in today's music. And, and we, you know, it's natural for us. It's not anything we have to work at. Now, I, I know that you, you guys were saying that when Cowboys from Hell came out, you know, the Seattle sound was the big sound, and that was dominant, and this shook things up and, you know, changed the direction of music. Back in the day, all the way back to 1988, 89, when we wrote Cowboys from Hell, uh, the whole idea behind that song was the fact that we were from Texas, and we were outcasts. We were totally different from everything else. Everything else at that time was coming from L.A., New York, and then Seattle had just come on the scene. And uh, with what we do today, with today's current music and everything that's out there, we're once again kind of in that outlaw, outcast position in a weird way. We, we just kind of stick out like a sore thumb, but it's 100% hell yeah. You can't, you can't deny it. That's what we do. Also, Dime Vision. You've put out one volume. When's the second volume coming out? When we do get a chance to finally sit down and get it together, there's so much amazing footage of my brother, and he was such a, a character and, uh, you know, an ambassador to this form of music and everything that we do so it'll definitely happen and uh, you know I just want to thank all the fans for always uh, you know never forgetting and always remembering him and he's always with us everywhere we go man I have to carry the torch and that's what I'm doing right now you know it's, it's been a very difficult road to do it without him but these guys are fucking killer I love being a part of this band I know for a fact he's watching over us and he's very proud of this band and uh, smiling there you go puts a smile on all our faces <laughs> you got to know he's like you know raising a glass and you One know his words there was always a way to polish a turd <laughs> always a way it could be the worst situation in the world and we'd all be going oh god damn and he'd be going wait a minute there's one way or another to straighten this out. Let's do a shot, you know? <laughs> In the 90s, thank God for Pantera. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Pantera and Metallica pretty much single-handedly, like, kept it really alive. Kept yeah. it alive on a certain level through those years. Just like to say, thanks, Scott. I love you, and thank you for, you know, giving us some props. Uh, I've always been a fan of your band, and uh, I love kicking your ass at poker, and... Uh, I know you're uh, on tour with the big three or big four somewhere in Europe and kicking ass with Megadeth and Metallica and who's that other band? Slayer? <laughs> <laughs> I never could understand why they never called it the big five. And I see these heavy metal specials all the time. It's like, we didn't even exist, man. We were just somewhere between the big four and Alice in Chains and Soundgarden and all the other. Why do you think that happens? Like, who, who came up with this big one? You, you know, I don't know, but it was really cool to be able to be invid individual. And uh, we never, we were like a horse with blinders. We never looked at anything that went on beside us, around us, or anything. We just knew that, you know, if we ever got the right opportunity, we were going to be able to take the ball and run with it, and we did it, man. One. Yeah, that they don't need no other three. The big one. Whenever I speak to any bands who um, used to go out on the road with you guys, Pantera, back in the day, nothing anyone ever says to me I can actually broadcast. Do you ever find it hard topping, you know, you know the, the mad... We've topped it many times over with Hell Yeah. We're, we're the only band that drinks these days. I mean, everybody's always talking about, I'm sober and I gave all the good stuff up, man. Well, that's why it kind of turned into what it turned into. You know, I mean... I remember back in 99, you know, one of the last tours Pantera did on OzFest. Now, I'm not going to get specific with all the bands, but we were the only band that was out there partying. And all these bands, these young bands that were coming up and shit that we wanted to hang out with, these dudes were in the back of their bus playing Nintendo and calling their girlfriends. And, I mean, they were, like, scared. They would do their thing on stage and disappear. And, and we were just like this fucking rolling circus, you know, teddy bars, drinking, partying, having a good time. Who gives a shit? You know, enjoy your life. And uh, hell yeah, has that vibe. You know, we all have a good time. We, we enjoy being on the road. 
We're not a band that's safe. This is a very dangerous band. We have to call each other every morning to make sure we're all still alive. I mean, you know, it gets crazy. And, and that's what rock and roll is supposed to be. It's supposed to be fucking fun. It's supposed to be kick ass. You got to kick ass first and foremost. But when you get off the stage, you, you got to live it up, man. You got to have a good time one way or another. It's good for, you. It's good for the soul, really. Bad for, bad for the liver. Good for the soul. If I ever see you in an AA meeting, I'm going to come in and like smash you myself. I would hope you would. Drag me out of there. Yeah. Chad, what are you doing? You'd be a quitter. Yeah. <laughs>